this is Jim Reynolds, and thank you for viewing this video. And for more information or other video, please visit redneckriches.com. Okay, <clears throat> it does take a little while to get the information from uh, Free Hostia. But, you know, one of the things that we saved was our information here, and that is the domain name servers that we need to point our domain toward in order for it to work at freehostia.com. So what I'm fixing to do is I have my login information for uh, GoDaddy and one of the reasons I told you earlier is I love to register at GoDaddy is because of the 24-7 sales support phone number they have right here. You can call them anytime, night or day and they will actually help you do what it is you want to get done. So if you run into trouble following this video you can call uh, GoDaddy at this number and they will help you alright now in my earlier videos I showed you how to purchase a domain name and so I purchased one and if you followed along maybe you purchased one too if you haven't go back and look at how to purchase a domain name for about ten dollars a year folks for the whole year you control a part of the internet you control a name and so we're hosting that name now so what we're gonna do now is it's called changing the domain name servers commonly referred to as DNS so if you're calling in for support you want to say look I'm trying to change the domain name servers in order to do that you must already have a domain I've said that so, all right, so I'm going to log in here and uh, we're going to edit or change the domain name servers on the domain name that I have which is redneckwealth.com because uh, that's the name that I told free host to you I want to host there for free for a whole year and so this is the next step in the process is changing the domain name servers on that and in the last in one of the videos I showed you how to uh, forward that domain name and so I'm gonna have to undo that process and actually point this to these name servers and these are the name servers remember we got them as we were signing up I told you to make a copy of them and put them into notepad and these are those right here these are the domain these are like addresses that you're going to be pointing this domain to alright so I'm gonna I'm gonna move this out of the way so we can see I'm in my back office here at um, GoDaddy and I'm looking at my domains right here okay and just click domains now you got a bunch of steps you can go to and all of that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to point this again you can see it's got a lot of stuff here so management renewal I want to go to my domains right here so it will list the domains that I have and it's opening up in a new window and GoDaddy's kind of changed things a little bit so you know bear with me as we go through this process so it opened a new window and this hopefully will show the domains that I have and then what I can do with them so I'm going to come down here and I've got the one that I want to work with is redneck wealth right here redneckwealth.com so I want to come over here the domain that I want to work with and of course the one I want to work with is this one and that opens up these options across the top right here so see now I've put a check mark in there right beside redneck wealth see the check mark right here when I done that it lit these up these options and there's several options up here one of them is name servers so I'm just gonna click on name servers and it should hopefully take me to where I can manage the name servers alright we see right now that I have the name servers custom in other words I host my name somewhere else okay so name server one and it's really easy name server one is going to be DNS one dot freehostia.com so I'm just going to copy that right there and then paste this in here it's going to paste the whole thing right in here Now remember this is the one we want checked if you have one of these others checked you want to check this one okay and then for 
name server number two, it's really easy. I'll just get DNS two dot freehosted dot com and I'll just paste this right in here. Alright, I just copied and paste those that information there. And then right over here to your right, there's a thing that says OK. I'm going to click OK. So it will update that. All right, and it tells me, it gives me a little message. Your change changes have been submitted. Please allow a few minutes for these changes to take effect. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to allow a few minutes for this to take effect, and then we will uh, see what happens as as far as our domain name. And remember, the one I'm using is redneckwealth.com. So we'll check back here in a few minutes and see what's going on with that and see if it has updated the name servers and uh, what what we can do from there. So I, just, <clears throat> I do just want to tell you that <clears throat> even once you have set the name servers, most especially if you had it forwarding before, all of that will change when you add these domain name servers in here. But it could take a while for it to update. It takes a while for everything. It could take 24 hours. It took a, probably about an hour or so for it to update for me where I could go to site. But it could take a little while for it to update. Once it does update, you're going to get um, something that looks like this. Okay, you can see I put in redneckwealth.com. I'm just going to refresh it here. And it's going to an empty deal. It's like an index of. And, you know, we've got to put some things in here inside of your account, of course, before anything shows up. But once it's updated, that's what you're going to be left at. And so we'll get into some more video series on, on how to make something show up here, how to forward this while you're using a hosted account. And all more importantly, we want to get into a WordPress blog. So it did take a little while to update especially if you had followed some of my earlier videos where we had, you know, where we were forwarding our domain name somewhere else. It takes a little while to update. Just be patient. But if you go through all of these setups like I have done here through these couple of video series on setting up your free hosting account, changing the DNS or domain name servers, it will come about. It just takes a little while for it to what they call promulgate or to make the changes across the Internet. So once it's updated, and once you're seeing this, when you go to your domain name, that means that you're now, everything is pointed at the right place, and we can begin to add things to your hosted website to make some things show up, whether it be a WordPress blog or a forwarding, like where you can say redneckwealth.com forward slash recommends, and it go to a business that you recommend or to a business website that you recommend. So we'll get into all of that. Main thing is we got your free hosting set up and we got your DNS names, DNS domain name servers pointing to the right direction. So your domain is actually pointing to where we now want to add some content. And uh, we'll be doing that in some other video series. I'll